Julene is 10 years old and she loves cemeteries. She's the first to admit that's odd. Nine News storytellers Anastasia Bolton and Andy Buck tagged along with Julene and came away thinking maybe more of us should be her kind of odd. It is beautiful day. I like to go to the cemetery. Admittedly, an odd choice for anyone. My mom took me there when I was little. Well, I guess I felt bad. It would seem especially so for a 10 year old. I, mean, I like cemeteries. It makes me think of life. But once you get to know Jolene Ryder, I'm making them happier. What drives her? That one's missing flower. Why she loves it here. I feel like they need help. And keeps coming back. There you go. You might just wish more people. I might be called weird. We're weird. Hi, John. Just like her. These people, they're people like us. Yeah, they did wrong, so of course they're going to be punished. But I don't think they should get this much of of punishment. Jolene's favorite part of Canyon City's Greenwood Cemetery. Hello. I return. Is the Department of Corrections section. They have CSP inmate on all of these. Inmates from nearby prisons are buried here. It's not scary here. It's happy. It should be a happy place. Color is what we need. Their graves. That's much better. Are as grim as some of their lives may have been. I think everybody deserves a little bit of happiness. <laughs> About a year ago, Jolene decided to bring some happiness to inmates. Those ones over there need work on. I can get this. I want to see color. Color everywhere. I decorated his entire place with his flowers. But mostly in one place for one man. I came to see Joe. The misunderstood. He was innocent. He didn't kill. Who they said he did. Joe Aridi was a mentally disabled man wrongfully executed in 1939 for the rape and murder he didn't commit. Governor Bill Ritter pardoned Aridi in 2011. You can see by his grave he loved trains. Jolene identifies with Joe, kindred spirits, perhaps. He didn't do it, and I know because he didn't have a correct thinking, I guess. He's like me. If 10-year-old Jolene doesn't have what she calls correct thinking. I like them all. Then she's in good company. Every person was important in one way or another. With someone <sighs> who is many decades her senior. It's my second family. It is. Uh, and we go on vacation. I have my mail held. I go by. I pick up the mail at the post office. First thing I do is I come out to the cemetery and drive through. Tell her back. I'm back. Tom Monaco has volunteered out here for years. He's on the cemetery board. I just want to bring this cemetery back to life. But he'll tell you he's not much for titles. Doesn't matter if they were a housewife or a governor. We have both out here. He died in 1883. Everyone is important. They might have passed on, but their life, what they did, and everything else can still be brought out. Tom doesn't have a favorite, so he says. It's just a sad story. Really sad. I think a, a copy of the pardon is just very fitting. Generations apart. The grave is totally respected. He and a 10-year-old. I like it here. See a lot of things the same way. If you ask for forgiveness, and I think everybody deserves love. A difficult concept in the land of convicted criminals, outcasts, and the misunderstood. Goodbye, buddy. With photojournalist Andy Buck, mm -hmm. Anastasia Bolton, 9 News. Julene collects artificial flowers for her cause. If you think that's something you might be able to help her out with, the information is in this story at 9news.com. Well, we've been talking about, we've been waiting.